How are you doing YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Feeds Beast Infinity Evolved. This is episode 14 and today we're going to do something a little bit simple uh, but it's been long awaited because we haven't had the uh, lovely little block that's to my shoulder on the right as you see it, the little tool forge there. We've only just made that and that's quite expensive and that's been a process. Um, it all was boiled down to the blast furnace. The blast furnace has now been the biggest stepping stone that we've had in several episodes. So basically, it's enabling us to do a lot now. So this episode, though, we're going to kind of take a step back from all of that. Oh, and go back to game. Press, press escape, not F1. And what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves these bad boys here. Definitely, definitely this, because I want to take you into the branch mine and see and show you, for those that don't know what this does, this is, I'm going to show you, practically what what this is going to enable me to do so first things first we're going to need to oh, not take you my mouse really man it's got mine at its own okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to go like this turn them into sticks and just grab a bunch of you and uh, probably get two of you and do this okay okay so what we're going to need is to make a couple more patterns so we're going to definitely need you and um, we're going to definitely need you. And we need some more patterns. Okay. Grab some more patterns. Keep. I'm used to like the original sort of. They, they kind of. Like I say, the, the wood is kind of like, you know, halved. You don't get as much back. So what we're going to need is. Is that the tough tool rod? Tough tool rod pattern. We definitely need you. And we definitely need you. So they're the four things that we're going to need, I think, roughly. So what we're going to do is put them away. Don't need you, don't need you, don't need you for now. And what we're going to do is going to grab some sticks or some wood. I'm pretty sure this, we can still do this. We're going to grab a bunch. No, no we're not. No we're not. We are going to go iron. Okay. So, for the actual hammerhead, we're going to use iron. Okay. Iron. Is that not enough? Okay then, we won't use iron then. We, we, we'll go... Oh, I know why we can't use iron. Sorry. I had a derpy moment. Um, we can do iron, but we need to. We build a stone one for now because it's just cheaper, and we we'll go iron later. Yeah, it kind of makes sense now. Sorry, I, I totally forgot that iron requires the forge, so you can't actually make the head out of iron. So we have to make it out of um, of stone here. So what we're going to do as well is we're going to make a tough, no tough, tool rod out of wood, just because it's the way I like it. Uh, probably be able to do it out of the wood here. Can we do it out of that? No. So can we go like that? Nope. Might need four. Yeah, not, not too shabby, not too expensive. Okay, and what we're going to need is we're going to need to make these. We're going to make these out of stone as well. I think we need two. Yeah, we need two. We don't actually need the cross, so we just need these two here, which is fine. So we're literally now ready to rock. Let's put all these back, and then we can make our little new toy here. So put these plates here, that there, and that there. That gives us just a basic kind of stone hammer, but this will do the trick, trust me. This is good enough for branch mining, in my opinion. It's nothing spectacular, but it will do. Um, how much redstone do we have? We've probably got enough to speed this this little puppy up. So what we're going to do is we add a modifier. We're definitely going to speed it up. We want this a little bit faster um, by adding some redstone. So it's now on 45. Put the rest of the dust there just to get it up to 50. Cool. So now we've got a decent little hammer. Now, what we want to do is we want to make this so it can um, maybe add a diamond to it. It's a little bit expensive, kind of making it a little bit more expensive than I would like. But 
can that get us mining level obsidian so not only does that make it more durable we can actually mine loads of stuff so let's go and have a little play with this i think my yeah so my branch mine is down here i totally forgot because like i say it's been several weeks since i've played this map um uh, well i've only just been like doing a back-to-back -back pretty much for the last couple of episodes so it's kind of getting my bearings again that's the trouble once you've taken a break from minecraft and you you basically got to start again okay so what we got here uh the 50 so we've got 20 here So let's just test this out, but we can't do it on dirt. This hammer willow. Someone tells me just to mine that. I'm not 100 sure just yet of whether or not I want to mine it. Have we got fortune on this? Yeah, but we've got nowhere near enough. I might just leave that for now because it's quite in the open, and we're going to need to make sure that we. We just want to get. St oh, great. We're going to need to get stone up and running here. So, we're just going to do this. And we'll give you a perfect example with a totally flat wall. Okay. Let's just count these because this is my guide. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Spot on. So, we're now 30 blocks in. Okay. So, we've already got one, two. As you can see, it does three by three by one. So that's what, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, Let me plonk another t torch. Look how fast that is. Now, as you can see, it's exposing a lot of ores down here, which I will take off camera. Um, I will set, oh, actually, I could do that now. I will set up a workbench down here because it's just handy to have now if you get a crafting station which I is what I've done now and basically um, I'm just gonna plonk this here at the bottom of the ladder okay you should be able to any stone tools you should be able to just do this bad example but we got there in the end okay now it's broken so basically you can just repair it like that that's that's good to have in a branch mine definitely so we've got lots of coal down here ferris is good we've got some diamonds there we've got some lead and silver more there um, we need to just i'm just going to finish this on camera because i might as well it's only another 10 blocks so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten perfect so this is now the end of my branch mine. So I'm just gonna do three more. And just finish it up here. So this is just how I branch mine. There's probably many ways of doing it. There we go, that's that one sorted. So look how quick I done 20, 20 blocks in. Now with the pickaxe that would take you know a little bit longer. So that's that's kind of why I wanted this. Right, let's go upstairs and build ourselves another tinker tool. Okay, next tool on my list that I really, really could do with um, having off camera that I wish to build on camera now is the lumber axe. The lumber axe is without a doubt the most brilliant tool since tree capitator. Now, I don't agree with tree capitator anymore unless you. It's, there's some mod packs out there that have got tree capitator and tinker's construct. I think that's pointless personally because the lumber axe does exactly what tree capitator does so what we want to do is we need to make this part here because we haven't got the pattern yet so let's just plonk that in there and then we're going to need that so there we go we've got the axe head there and then what we're going to do is once again we're going to make it out of oh, we need a bit more stone than that so let's grab some more and we need to make the axe head and let's grab some more wood make 10 why not and then we're going to need this actually no out of stone we're going to make um, another one of these going to need more really or is it the other way around there we go sorry wrong way around my bad my bad 
And then we're going to make you out of wood. Why not? And then we're going to make you out of wood again. So that is that. This is the lumber axe. Once again, we're going to speed it up. And we're going to get... I don't know if I want to put durability on it. Yeah, why not? Let's put another durability on it. Because we're going to try and keep this axe and not lose it. Um, otherwise, it's going to be quite costly. Okay, so we're going to put you there. You there. You there. This isn't the best way to make these Tinker's tools, by the way. There is ways that you can get the most modifiers out of each tool, mainly paper. A lot of people make it out of paper, which sounds crazy, but you get the most modifiers out of it. And why, I don't know. Because paper, in reality, is not exactly probably the best tool to make, uh, the best material to make any tool out of. So let's just do this. And do that. And then once again we do this. Okay, and then we're gonna add a diamond, why not? Just just keep it going for that little bit longer. Okay, so that is cool. I wonder actually while we're at it, I'm gonna add modifiers to this shovel. Because we can. Okay, and then we're gonna go. You gotta be careful not to go over 50. I think you actually run into another modifier. I'm not gonna do any more to that one because I don't really need the durability that much. Um, you could, I could, you could, you are right. I could go excavator, but I won't. Um, just for now, just. Uh, but I will do an excavator. But I probably will build that off camera because I don't really use that as much as the other, these two here. Now, the beauty about the Lumber Axe is, once again, if you've never seen Trecapitator or the Lumber Axe in action, you're about to. Now, my pet hate at the moment, for one, is this. So we can get rid of this in one fell swoop. Is all these trees here. Now, all these trees are a nightmare. Look at it. There's loads of them, right? Now, let's have a look on the map. Just look at the map, right? There's loads of trees. I want to clear this out. For one, I, I think... This could be just me, but this biome, biome in particular is a little bit laggy. It's not tremendously laggy to the point where I'm like gonna cry, but it's an, it's enough to, you know, to kind of like hinder, you know, viewing pleasure and gameplay. But if I take some of these trees down, it might reduce the lag. So what better way to do it than use a lumber axe? So I'll do a couple more just in case you missed it and yeah it's cool it is really good little tool to have so whereas the hatchet is just like a normal axe okay this lumber axe is so much better watch I'm gonna take you does that work on you oh it does okay so we're just literally hammering this is good because um, they've nerfed the yield on wood so that's okay so that way we can get wood faster we can now actually clear up the valley a lot better which i would mainly do off camera but just enjoy these these um wow that chops pretty quick i must admit there we go with all of this chop all the trees down pretty much in in this like general area I should have kept that one, but meh, whatever. Because this will free up, one, a lot of space. Two, I think it will make less laggy. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Um, there is specific biomes. There's one that's really green, like bluey green than this, like a teal color. And um, that's really laggy. I remember that being a problem at one point in a, in a mod pack, so I had to not like live there. So if we just... Get rid of that. Lovely. We're getting more. What's down there? There's something down there, and I kind of. I don't know. I think it's. I don't know. It's just like a, a nether ending water source. I don't know. I think that goes right down to bedrock. Look at it. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but that, that is a lot. That's a long way down. And that's a, not a decent sort of place to drown, I, I guess. So as you can see, look, look how much we've cleared up. The only trouble is we've got floaty trees here and that, that bugs me. Bugs me to tears. 
got like our horses and our cows in the pen there. That's good. There we go. Get rid of you. There we go. Lovely and clean. So eventually, this would be nice and open. It'd be a nice little open area, so we can literally do stuffs maybe later on down the line if we get that far. And 1.8 more packs do not come out. Once they come out, that's it. I'm gonna be like, yeah, get me on it. Let's get rid of you because these bug me. No pun intended, because that's a bug. <laughs> um, oh, look at all this. We've got so much wood. I don't even know what to do with it. Okay, that's cool. So you get the idea. We, we've, we've now got the capabilities to free up lots of space here. I'm even feeling less laggy here, because there's less trees. It's very cluttered, this, this biome. It's very... Um, not claustrophobic, but there's lots going on in in this particular biome. There's lots of overgrowth. There's lots of trees. You know, all sorts going on. So, what better way? We need the wood anyway because we want to make loads of stuff. I mean, how much wood have I got now? A stupid amount. Look at it. It's mental. But yeah, the lumber axe. Now you can see why I've gone for the tool forge, because for one, mining's going to be easier. So we can gra grab. Lots of minerals off camera. I can go and do all that, which means we can then afford um, some more machinery and stuff, right? So we can go down that route. Um, but once again, it all it all boils down to the recipes. If the recipes are crazy, then uh, yeah, we we'll see. This this mob pack gets a little bit crazy. Part of me likes it, but part of me gets a little bit frustrated frustrated with it at times because I just want to build it, and I normally would be able to build it, and in this case, it just goes round, you know, it goes round the world just to get something fairly simple to get, like like a quarry, for example. Us to get a quarry on, on Evolved, now that, <laughs> that, that's just a mission, in my opinion. It's a mission, you know, in itself, when it's not on expert mode. So with it being expert mode, it just kind of just adds to it. And it's just like wow, it's gonna be maybe an end, maybe an ender quarry, and is probably more the style to go. Less laggy, I think. Apparently they are, and uh, apparently people pref prefer them in that sort of sense. So as you can see, look at look at the space we've cleared in like a matter of minutes. That's not bad going. The the this is now. This Let's Play has now got to a point where it's taken a major turn in what we can do. Because when you first start this, you're very limited. Because you've got a... It's very... Yeah, very grindy. Very grindy. But it's cool at the same time. Look at this. I'm happy with this. Look at the, look at the amount of space we've just created. That's amazing. And look how much wood we've got. Once again, that's even amazing in itself. So it's cool. Need to work on things. Ah, next episode, I think what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on things like um, the the basic furnaces. I'm going to like redstone furnace, you know, tinkers, uh, not tinkers construct, thermal expansion stuff. We're going to probably, most likely, definitely, kind of, maybe, possibly, kind of um, sort that out. I need you to go up there. My mouse is really playing up. There we go. Can you go in there? You can. Can you go in there? You can. Can you go in there? Oh, look at all that wood gone. That wood is gone now. That's cool. So yeah, uh, progress. What can I say? Progress. That's all. I, that's that's to sum it up. And we need to start getting a bin sorted out. So yeah, I think we make a bin now. So let's make a trash can quick. Oh wow, you can make different ones. Trash can. An energy trash trash can. I don't get it. Fluid trash can. We just make a normal trash can. So we need three. Uh, we've got plenty of wood. Can I make wood out of you? You can't. You can't make. Really? Uh, let's just plonk these, especially there. I'm going to plonk you probably in a chest. Oh my god. So much stuff. Plonk that in there. Probably just gonna chuck you over here because I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care about you. Bye. Nice knowing you. 
have a nice life. Right, look at all this. God, we got some stuff in here. We need to get rid of that. So, yeah, progress. Um, what was I making quick? Uh, a trash can. So we're going to make three of you. You can go across there like so. And I do believe we'll take the rest of you because we're going to need you anyway. I can't remember if it's... No, we need one more. Bam. And then we need to make... That's a bit too many. My mouse. Seriously, my mouse. And then we're going to go like this. Bam. And trash can. Done. Unless we've already got one. Then I've dirt that right up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to plunk the trash can probably up here. There we go. Trash can goes up there. So if we don't want anything, we just go bye, bye, bye. Just shift click and it goes forever. Cool. So then that way can we get a load of... I can sort out this off camera as well. Get everything like kind of neat and tidy and ready to go for the next episode, I guess. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I shall see you definitely in the next one. Take it easy.